Okay, here in lesson three, we're going to do a little bit more of a percussive strum, and it's going to include the palm muting as well as hammering. So the first example I'm going to show you, I call the, the muted rake strum, and I call it a, a rake because the pick is actually raking down uh, the strings while you're muting it. Okay, so let me show you the example of what it sounds like. We're going to just use simple chords again here, A minor and D, and here we go. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to break it down here on the right hand. I'm just doing basic strum down, a strum up, but I'm only strumming the first two or three uh, strings here. So down, up. Now, the next stroke down, I'm actually palm muting and raking at the same time, raking the, the strings down. So it's like this. So, so the first thing you should really practice is the, the actual rake here. So you're just going to take the A minor and you're just going to put your palm down and drop your pick. Okay, that's kind of slow motion. We want it a little faster. Okay, you just drop your pick all the way down. So it would be good to do this like um, a lot before you actually try to do the strum. Okay, also the muting is slightly different than this palm muting. I'm muting with this part of the palm, and you can see, okay. So let's try it together. We're going to put it together, the strum with the palm mute and the rake. Two, three, four. And again, okay, now in addition to this strum, I'm going to add another element and it's going to be a hammered chord. If you've never done a hammer before, you should practice hammering the chord first before you incorporate it in the strum. We're going to stay on the A minor and the D. And basically a hammer is what it sounds like. You're going to start with the chord open off the strings. You're going to strum down. And now you're going to hammer the chord. Okay? And you've got to be pretty exact in hitting the, the exact strings for the chord. And it's got to be pretty strong too. A pretty good hit. And for the D, same thing. Make sure you're strumming from the correct bass notes. So fifth string for the A minor, fourth string for the D. Okay, so now I'm going to incorporate it in the strum. It's going to sound like this. Do it a little slow. And again. And again. Let's do it together. Two, three, four. And that's the muted rake strum and the muted rake strum with hammers. Great technique to know. Uh, it's a little bit more percussive, more rhythmic, 
adds some nice color to what you're playing and it's, it's a great technique to know.